Hey guys, so it's going to be like below zero for like the high and low for like the rest of the week. So I thought I would do a little bit of hydrating for my skin and use one of these Casa RX masks, which I believe these are newer product from them. I picked up a little box of them, so thought I would give one a whirl. So the ingredient list looks pretty good uh, with the exception of tea tree oil, which for some people can cause sensitization, but... Uh, typically in low amounts, it's like the one, two, third to last ingredient. So I'm not super concerned about it. So before I cleansed with the new PSA cleanser uh, and then used a little toner. Now I'm going to apply this. We'll see how the mask goes. I don't know some masks like fit perfectly like a second skin and some of them just slide off the face. So we'll see. Some people absolutely love sheet masks. I'm kind of a little lazy, so I kind of just really like like rinse off masks because sometimes it's a little too lazy to apply them and then walk around for 20 minutes. I mean, it's not necessarily laziness. I don't know. Okay, so this packet definitely has some good goo in it and still more to come. There's still a lot left in that package, so. Ooh, that was almost expensive. I almost dropped on the floor. It's very slippery. Okay, wow. Very goopy. I like goopy. Goopy to me sounds like moisture. But I'm not the best at unwrapping these, which is why I don't use them as often as I could. This is the Goopster Goopinator. Just trying to figure out exactly where this is going. Okay, I feel like this is like a wrap, wrapping to it, maybe. Okay. Might need to go back to college to figure this out. They didn't teach me this in college. Okay, so I'm guessing this is upside down. There we go. You know what? I should do this for Halloween. This would be kind of creepy. Okay. Oh, I'm so bad at putting these masks on. You know what? The tea tree scent is not strong. It's definitely noticeable, but not uh, strong. It's cold. <laughs> if it were warm, it would feel a little bit refreshing, but it's kind of cold. I guess my house is kind of cold. My house is like 65. Okay. How's it look? Will the dogs be scared of me? Okay, now you just get to leave it on for 10 to 15 minutes or however you like. And I also have a hand mask. And that stays on for 10 minutes. So I think I'm going to do that too. This is the Aveeno hand mask. And the ingredient list looks pretty good. Water glycerin, petroleum, oat kernel flour, oat kernel oil, oat kernel extract, shea butter. Doesn't look like any fragrance, so that's always exciting. I really need to roll my sleeves up to get into this. Supposed to cut them in half, maybe? Insert one hand in each glove and fasten the strap for comfort. Aha! He's got some big hands, whoever they made this after. Insert one hand in each glove. Oh, there's a strap. Oh, it's a little sticker. Uh, what do you do when you get the, got to put the second one on though? <laughs> I don't know. I bet I'm going to be able to fasten this one, but not the second one. You know what? It's so cold. These feel nice and soft. You know what? Cameraman, I need you to shut the camera off for 
10 to 20 minutes. Hey guys. Yeah. So it's been about 20 minutes. So now I'm going to start by taking these hand masks off, which stayed on nicely. But you know what? I really can't stand when the inside of my hand feels like all gooey and slippery. When I normally apply lotion on my hands, I just apply them to like the back sides of my hands and then rub them together. Because I just don't like my entire hand feeling slimy. Or like getting all over the keyboards or if I touch my hair. So I'm going to quick uh, kind of rinse it off, which kind of defeats the purpose, but whatever. I do think they did some good moisturizing, though. Even if I did rinse it off. Okay. Sorry, the toilet seat was up. Hopefully you couldn't see that. Okay. Now I'm going to do the taking the other mask off. There we go. So then you kind of just pat the rest of the essence in. Still feels slimy. I don't know. But it does feel nice and hydrating and my skin feels moisturized. And uh, now I'm just going to put on my night cream and go to bed because I got nothing else to do. So anyway, so my skin feels soft and nice and hydrated. Uh, applying that was pretty good for the most part. This fit better than a lot of other masks I've used. They tend to be either too big or the eyes are way too small or the it's hard to breathe out of them. But this one was fit pretty good. Feels very nice and hydrating. Didn't slide off. I just kind of didn't do much for 20 minutes. I kind of sat there and watched TV and then started to kind of doze off. I'm like, oh, it's been 20 minutes. I don't want to fall asleep with it on. Because you know what I did that last year with those baby soft foot exfoliators? I fell asleep with it on. So I had my feet exfoliating for like nine hours. They didn't fall off though. So that was a success. But anyway, I don't know. My skin feels nice and smooth and soft and ready for bed, I guess. So Anyway, those are my thoughts on this guy and this guy. My hands do feel really soft, though. It's nice. I'm going to put some more lotion on uh, now. But usually I just put lotion on. Like, I'll put, like, a dollop on. And I'll just smooth them together like this so I don't get my hands all slimy on the inside. I don't know. Is that weird? It might be. But... Okay. Anyway, I'm interested if you guys have any good masks face or hand or foot masks and what they are. So leave a comment. Okay. Thanks. Bye. I'm going to bed. Okay. Bye guys.